Hi Aquarius, I hope that you guys are all doing great. Welcome to your July love reading. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn, this is Passion of Heart Tarot, and for everyone returning, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today to take a look and see what's coming in for your love life, Aquarius. You know, what are things gonna be like for you? What are some of the experiences that you could have this July? How is your love life gonna look? All right, you guys, let's get into it. If you guys like the video, leave a like on the video leave a comment i do hope that you'll stick around and subscribe if you're new here share the video all right aquarius let's begin before i do i just want to take a moment to invite the light of hearts I can see Sagittarius's and Gemini's energy coming through, Aquarius. Are any of you dealing with one of those cross watchers, maybe moon or rising energies? Or there could be um, maybe someone coming towards you. I feel like there's kind of a rough patch that I see coming in for you. Um, with, with these energies, I mean, the three of pentacles in reverse and then the seven of wands. I just feel like you and your person may get to this place where you're both kind of trying to win. I say that because, um, the five of swords in a love reading, the five of swords, and especially with the lovers in reverse, letting me know that things are coming between you and your person. The five of swords, I feel like can, can kind of be like stooping to a low place. Not saying that you guys are going to do that, but I think that you have to be careful of going tit for tat with someone. Like um, if someone is being kind of petty with you, I think that you might turn around and out of frustration be just like, real petty with them and even kind of sink to their level you might sink to their level aquarius and i'm talking about this five of swords it's not a good thing it's a lower vibration because in a love reading you don't want to see competition you know you don't want it well you know i guess not between two lovers you don't want to see competition you don't want to see um it's like a spiteful energy. It's like, um, I got one over on you. I won that. I won that. That went my way. But if you look really deep in the background, that person is like, um, they look like they're crying. They look like they're kind of burying their, their head in their hands. Um, and why would anyone want to make their person feel that way? Do you know what I mean? But I know when you get, when you guys can get caught up in energies like this with someone, in the moment you may stoop to their level or like go tit for tat and like it's not focusing on the bigger picture for sure it's focusing on uh winning short-term victory short-term goals and then when the overall energy is coming through like the seven of wands and the three of pentacles there's no getting around that is like breaking up with someone or like maybe even feeling like this person is breaking their word or breaking their promises uh, that they've made. And it's almost like trying to figure things out. I think you guys might feel like when it comes to your person, I don't know how to approach them. I feel like I try one thing and it's wrong. I try another thing and that's wrong too. Um, I think that you're gonna, it just looks rocky and it looks like you guys being in, having tension between you and trying to figure things out. 
Um, and I will say that some of you, you even are at risk of um, maybe t taking time away from them, taking a break, because these lovers are in reverse. And when the lovers are in reverse with these kinds of energies, I just know that it's um, obstacles in the way, something coming between you and them. You know what's funny is I'm telling you to not stoop to someone's level. And I don't say that to insult your person at all. But I think some of you might even do things to rub them the wrong way. Because this is what I can see someone doing. Like um, one of you is super frustrated. And the other one, like in their venting and they're airing it out. And then the other one is like, oh, I'm perfectly fine. I'm relaxed, cool, calm, and collected. And that is something that ticks your person off even more. Or like that's what I can see someone doing. Someone might do that to you. Aquarius and I'm giving you the heads up so maybe you can keep it in the back of your mind that you kind of don't fall for it I want to look at these lovers in reverse so I wonder if any of you feel like you're you're in this place that I can see right now of having a lot of tension with your person one of the biggest problems is the way someone is not I feel keeping their word or keeping their promise about something. So, you know, just because we can see what's coming in doesn't mean that it can't be avoided, Aquarius. You know, that's the beautiful thing about watching tarot is like it gives you a heads up on the energy to kind of like be prepared for it. Like the weather forecast. If you see it's going to rain, you take an umbrella. You know, this is I can see tension and arguments. And so I can see also the ways to avoid them. It's um, someone keeping their word, even if it's like small little things that they said they were going to do. That'll make a big difference. And it's also like if, if your person is like venting and airing something out to you. To maybe just kind of try and put yourself in their shoes. Um, but, you know, don't go tit for tat with them or don't purposely do things to get under their skin because that's what I feel someone is doing. You know, I want to look at these lovers. Six of Wands and the Ten of Wands in... Okay, so Ten of Wands and Six of Wands just flying out in reverse. This is a message telling someone um, that you only lose... And don't think I'm saying this directly to you because it could be cross-watchers or you may feel like this is your person's advice. You only lose when you hold on to things that should be let go of. That's exactly what this energy is. And um, it's also letting someone know that the emotional baggage and tension and stress that they're holding on to, they should have let that go a long time ago. And now's the time to let it go. You know, I know they may hear this and feel like, well, I need to hold on to this, you know, but honestly, whoever it is that's holding on to that, you only lose. It only comes between you and your person. And then if you can imagine, those wands are very heavy. So you're just putting a lot more stress and pressure on yourself to try and carry all that around. Okay, Aquarius, I want to look at these lovers now. I mean, that's just what it is with the Six of Wands coming out again around the lovers in uh, reverse. And then there's the Ten. I mean, that's just that's just the message. So I think it's important that that someone here kind of is the bigger person in the connection because you don't want things that are like petty or small or that like shouldn't even be talked about anymore coming between you and your person because you guys have a very beautiful and special connection you do i mean you're coming through as lovers those are people that are meant to be together those are people that fit together like puzzle pieces so i just feel like even though i can see arguments and pettiness coming into your love life it doesn't mean that you have to let it take things over all right, I want to look at that temperance card. <laughs> look at these energies repeating. Look at that. And then look at these. I'm looking into the temperance card and just look what's repeating. The five of swords. The five of swords... 
I just think it's um very important to not let things come between you. Like, don't be your own worst enemies with each other. Because I feel like that's what can happen. And then when you see the Five of Swords around the Temperance card, I do, I just, I feel like what I can see someone doing is being incredibly petty with their person. Like, oh, oh you think you're going to relax? I'm going to blast the stereo. That's, that's what this energy is like. Oh, you think you're going to sleep? Well, I want to watch TV. Like little circumstances like that. And then that's why I feel the two of you may even like go tit for tat when it comes to each other. But like I said, and not to sound like... A, a, you know, not to sound like a fairy tale or like a cliche, but whoever is like holding on to that, things they should let go of and like keeping things going, they only hurt themselves and they only hurt the connection. And I just think that the two of you really need to remember this month what's important. Because, you know, these could be little things that are spread out throughout the month, like this, this tension and these arguments off and on throughout the month. Something is definitely building up. And I'll tell you what it is. It's like I, I'm trying to get through to the other one and I feel like I don't know what, how to approach them. And I feel like they're snapping at me. I feel like they're short patient with me. No matter what I do, I seem to like get on their nerves and push them away. So obviously there's a lot of tension that's building. And I just feel like it's something that really needs to be aired out and talked about. Um, but that both of you have to kind of make a promise that you're going to really listen to the other one and like try to understand where they're coming from. Because if not, you guys are going to be mirroring each other like crazy and that won't do any good, you know. And then another heads up is for someone to keep keep the promises that they make and like the things that they say they're going to do, make sure that they follow through with it, even if it's something small. Like, oh, I thought you were going to pick this up from the store and you, you, you still didn't do it. You know, I feel like it's something that keeps, it's mounting tension and it'll get to the place where uh, you guys, and even look at this repeating, it'll get to the place where you guys are kind of like losing, losing yourselves, getting caught up in this petty energy. So I would say even make sure that things like between you and your person, I would even say to keep things private. I would even say it's a good idea for those of you that are into things like saging and um, like crystals uh, to, to sage, you know, to clear the energy out in your space, especially in your um, bedroom and things like that. I think you need to be aware of where things are placed in your home even. It's not a bad idea to get a rose quartz, which is for love, and maybe even keep get two of them, maybe like one on each nightstand and keep those in your bedroom. I think you just need to be aware of like these like bad vibes that I can see that you guys can get yourselves caught up in and don't be the cause of your own uh, bad vibes. You want to protect what you have because what you have is very special. Don't don't be your own worst enemies with each other. And I just kind of chuckle because um I know you can't see what I see in these cards, but when I look at when I look at the way someone is being like getting to like a very petty petty place of of really only thinking about winning in that moment, it's important to take a step back and think about the bigger picture. And how that's going to make the other one feel and how they'll remember that later on. You know, you don't want to be in this place where you're being spiteful and petty with each other. So I can see some of the things that can cause it. So that's why I'm telling you. So you can maybe take the steps to prevent it. And maybe even keep things in the back of your mind, Aquarius. If you feel like this weird tension just kind of comes up between you and your person. And with all of these synchronicities coming through... I know that there's a lot of potential for mirroring each other and mirroring each other is so ironic because it's actually the two of you feeling the same way, but maybe feeling like, why do you, you don't have a right to feel that way. You know, that's what the energy is like, but I just think it's important because with all this tension that I can see, um, I just think it's important to, if you, to talk first of all, and really be open, um, that you may hear some things that rub you the wrong way, but then you may say some things to your person that rub them the wrong way too. But you don't want tension to keep building up like that. 
all right? And, and maybe for some of you, if you feel like you're already in that place of the tension building up, you may kind of switch up the way you're approaching things now. Because it's certainly not going to lead to the two of you breaking up. I think you're going to just kind of drive each other crazy. I think you're you're going to even try and take space from each other. Um, but then it's like you can't stand to be apart at the same time. All right, Aquarius. I know that you guys are going to be okay. You guys are definitely going to make it. You have a, a connection that the two of you have been together lifetime after lifetime. I mean, these synchronicities are crazy. So you've been together... And you'll, and you'll be together. It just looks like there's rockiness scattered throughout the month. And these are kind of the ways to avoid it. Okay, Aquarius, that is what I can see in July. Just know how much I love you guys. That is what I have for you. I do hope that you enjoy the reading. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share the video. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I do hope that you'll stick around. That would be awesome. I love you so much, Aquarius. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next reading.